Okay, and then let's think of some additional case. The precipitate shape at uh, so-called green boundary. So far, we only consider the precipitate shape within the uniform host matrix, within the bulk of the material, within the green. But what if the precipitate is occurring where? At a green boundary, between two greens. Okay, quite often, we may find, okay, there's planar or good match on one side, but curved interface on the other side, which means we may have between alpha and alpha. What is that? Between alpha and alpha, that's our green boundary, right? Between alpha and alpha is green boundary, but at the that green boundary, there is beta, that is our precipitate. And for this beta, let's say it has a plane that has what? This flat plane means what? Coherent or incoherent? Quite the flat one quite often means a coherent one, right? That's the one that is low energy. You try to ma maximize it. And uh, everything else, this curved one would be, you try to be sphere, the incoherent one, which is not sensitive to orientation. The flat one is sensitive to orientation. Only at a certain angle you are matching it. Make sense? Okay, that's what happens if there's a coherent part, if there's also incoherent part. Okay. But generally, if the beta phase and the, the matrix, the alpha, has no coherent interface whatsoever, you cannot find any match between, let's say, carbon, graphite, and the BCC ferrite ion. In that case, if we define a few terms, gamma alpha alpha means what? Gamma for interfacial energy, alpha alpha is just the, the green boundary energy between alpha matrix, okay, if we define a few terms. Gamma, alpha, beta is the interfacial energy between alpha and beta, and it's the same because it's in completely incoherent, it doesn't depend on orientation, okay. And if we define theta as the so-called interface angle, I'm going to draw it here. Alpha, alpha, that's our what? Matrix, our host material, but in between them, I have a green boundary, right? And then beta is our precipitate, okay? And then between alpha and alpha, I have this, what is this? Green boundary energy, which is trying to pull it in one way. Between alpha and beta, between alpha and beta, I have both gamma alpha B, alpha beta, that's our interfacial energy between alpha and beta phase. And uh, okay, under so-called equilibrium condition, under equilibrium condition, do you see we mathematically, for this point to be stable, to reach equilibrium, we would have this. Gamma alpha alpha trying to move that point which way? Gamma alpha alpha is trying to move this point which way? Towards left, right? It's essentially gamma alpha alpha is trying to reduce the total interfacial energy between alpha and alpha. Make sense? And uh, gamma alpha beta is trying to pull it uh, one on top, one on along the bottom. Make sense? And then gamma alpha alpha in t from force point of view would be equals to two times of cosine half theta half theta, make sense? Because this total angle is theta, when you do projection, you are only using half of cosine of that theta, cosine half theta, but two of it, make sense? That's your mathematical equation relationship. And then we have several scenarios. One is when the gamma alpha alpha is much smaller than alpha beta, what does that mean? Alpha alpha is our so-called green boundary energy. Alpha beta is the interface interfacial energy, which means the green boundary energy is very small. Okay, green boundary energy is very small. We would get this theta close to 180. Does that make sense? 
gamma alpha alpha is very small, which means when I put gamma alpha beta at the denominator, what happens to that cosine zeta term? Goes to zero, right? If gamma alpha beta is much larger than gamma alpha alpha, I put that thing in the denominator, the left side goes towards zero, which means cosine half theta goes towards zero. What is the angle that is cosine is zero? That is 90 degree, right? Half theta is 90, which means theta is 180. So in terms of shape, it looks something like this. If it's at two green, the theta goes towards 180. That's like t straight up and down, like a sphere, makes sense? And here, do you see that angle is 180? Make sense? You angle between these two. Do you see here it's close to 180? From here, if you rotate from the top, rotate towards the bottom, you have to rotate how many degree? 180, right? From one angle, one side to the other side, you have to rotate 180. Make sense? Or similar, like three come together. It's for each of them it's still 180. Make sense? For three, for this guy or this guy, is this guy, the angle is all close to 180. Some other case, gamma alpha alpha is about the same as alpha beta. What does that mean? The interfacial energy between host and precipitate versus green boundary energy, they are what? They are similar. Then mathematically, if this guy gamma alpha beta is the same as alpha alpha, what happens to cosine half theta? Becomes 0.5. Okay, if cosine half theta is 0.5, the half theta is 60 degree and the theta is 120 degree. It will be just like three green come together. Make sense? When when the interfacial energy is the same as green boundary energy, then the three green come together like a three greens. Make sense? Like a 120 degree that we have dealt before. The last one is, okay, green boundary energy is double the interfacial energy. Green boundary energy is double the interfacial energy. Okay, what happens to this cosine theta? The left side is two of alpha, gamma, alpha, beta. Then two gamma alpha beta cancel each out, which means cosine half theta is what? One. Cosine half theta is one, which means half theta is zero degree. Zero degree, okay, what does that mean? Kind of something like this. Means what? If you, this is not perfect analogy, but it kind of means the secondary phase, the precipitate really wants to wet completely occupy the green boundary, replace the green boundary, because, because the interfacial energy is much less than what? Green boundary energy. Instead of two green come together, they would rather meet the other phase. Make sense? We would have wetting, like a wetting of the secondary phase between the host or matrix phase. Okay?